The past few months have been quite interesting for tech enthusiasts as we are being greeted by multiple insane features, provided as upgrades to the numerous AI programs that we have going on. We can all testify that the attention has been so much on large language models, which are basically designed to provide text-generated responses to text input. However, we can't deny the recent effort to shift to text-to-image generation as we have seen with Google Bard and ChatGPT. But now, it seems Google takes the game up a bit with Dreamix. With Dreamix, we see something that is quite interesting. Google has been able to incorporate some kind of text-to-video feature. This isn't totally you typing in a text and getting motion pictures back in response. It requires some kind of extra push by making the prompt while uploading the image that the AI will work with. This is, however, still in early development, and I must say that what Google has been able to do with this is breathtaking. We will dive into looking at some of the generated samples of this AI in a minute, because as you might already know, there has not been public access granted to its resources, and it is still well under development. For now, let's try to understand how this technology works and the process it takes to generate their videos. The AI basically processes the images or videos given to it as a source for data required by downscaling and adding some noise edit to the video with the aid of a video diffusion model. This diffusion model is in turn guided by the text prompt provided by the user. And overall, from the videos we will be seeing here, we see that this process preserves an amazing amount of the original detail in the source video and images. This is by far greater than what we have been able to see with the recent updates from other companies. And I am certain that we will be seeing a lot of responses from other companies to what Google has just done. Now here, in this footage of a dog, we see the footage of a dog on the right, which is the input from the user. And this is accompanied by a prompt that simply states, a leaping dog. And it is just amazing how the AI is able to just place the dog in a different environment while retaining identifying details of the dog itself. First, we can see the dog in a totally different background here in the green background, and the second is pretty much close to the original clip. I mean, anyone who is well at home with dog breeds can easily tell the breed of the dog from the image. And something that is really, really interesting that we can observe from this video is that the original movement is altered. Google Dreamix was able to just extract details on the subject and then allow the user to manipulate the result to the desired movement. Although we can still identify some room for improvement, there is no need to be hard on Google as they have just pulled off something amazing. I know that many might think at this point that this might not just be typically what they think when they hear text to image or video. The idea many will have is just being able to input a whole bunch of text and the AI will create a video as output. But it is more important that we give Google the medal on this one. At least for now, this has been something that we have not seen play out at this level from any other company. It is just a remarkable feat at the moment. Here we have something that is really slightly more interesting. The source footage here has a monkey that is eating something off of its hands. But when you look to the right, the monkey is totally replaced by a bear, while every other living thing in the video remains pretty much unchanged. In the previous video that we saw, the AI makes use of regular video fine-tuning, which employs unmasked temporal attention. But in the case of what we have in this video, the fine-tuning employs masked temporal attention. This enables the AI to make changes on the desired spot while keeping every other detail. We see here that instead of including the monkey in the generated image, the AI replaces the monkey with a dancing bear in accordance with the written instruction. In a like manner, the same principle is applied here as the AI replaces the pawpaw in the first video with a cake in the second. And like in the first, every other detail is unchanged. And this process readily goes beyond the subjects in the picture. The same method is used here to change the environment around this car. It changes the scene from a solid road to one that is flooded by water in the second image. And just look how realistic it made the flow look. This is simply mind-blowing and we might be looking at a huge revolution in the creation of animation. And to see that this requires just instructions comprising of a few words is amazing. No complex codes or anything of such. And to take this even a little further, Google has been able to generate motion pictures just by feeding an array of images with similar subjects into the AI. This is just an exceptional feat, and it really seems Google is going all in at the moment in the AI race. 
This is quite impressive as the initial wave made by OpenAI had seemed to threaten the tech giant. They had lost some of their market share and it is obvious that they are out to get them back with the release of Bard and then Dreamix. Back to the image to video prompt, we see how these pictures of this bear in different positions are used to generate this motion picture. And one thing they did well here is that the AI does not just form whatever image it thinks is close to that of the subject as we have seen in some other similar AI programs like the OpenAI Dolly, which produces images that are pretty much processed and look nothing like it would in reality. Dreamix amazingly retained the details in these images. In a similar fashion, here is another still image of a sea turtle. With an instruction that you see here below, the result here by the right which simply just reads, an underwater shot of a sea turtle with a shark approaching from behind. The AI was able to analyze the image and add the required motion to the video. We have a second instance here, with a still image of someone pouring coffee into a glass and then the resulting motion picture by the right. The AI is able to add motion to the liquid and attempts to make the arm come alive. And the amazing thing about the Google Dreamix is that it just keeps getting better. Here's what I mean. In this video, we have a completely static image of a river by the left here, but in the second frame, we see the whole scenery incorporated with some motion zooming out the screen. Now, birds are seen and a buffalo has been added to the image with a few lines of instruction that reads, birds flying in the sky, camera zooming out to reveal an American buffalo bathing in the river. Another mind-blowing sample we have here is one that replicates the growth of a plant. This is basically a still image with no form of motion by the left. Then from the video that has been created by the right, we see that the AI was able to single out the subject from the background and is able to isolate the effect to just the plant image. What this whole thing brings to mind is the simplification of the machine language. Instead of learning line and line of code to be able to perform certain operations with your computer, you instead have simple languages that are exactly the same as the everyday human language to carry out these operations. And it is imperative to note that Google has not been the only company to have released something like this. Gen 2 by Runway operates pretty much like Dreamix, using text to generate videos. The first version of the program, Gen 1, operated more like the concept of Dreamix. But with the initial upgrade to Gen 2, Runway is looking at generating direct text to video. As I have said before, we are in a really interesting period that just seems to be a line of one amazing outcome after another. So far, the Gen 2 is still subject to a waitlist, and we hope to see this open to the public in no distant time. The Gen 1 by Runway recorded an amazing number of improvements to the system as users increased. We hope to have more of that soon enough. Now Google is really making a serious statement in the AI race. It is likely that the tech giant had felt threatened by the rapid escalation of AI-related advancements in recent months. So far, I will say that they have had a really good bounce back. However, most of the programs that they have released, such as the Bard, which was released during the last I.O. annual developer conference held by Google and Dreamix, we are still very much under development. We look forward to having these programs run at full capacity and there is no telling what the limit for them will be. The videos generated by Dreamix still show some elements of imperfection, but that's not really a problem considering this is just the start of what we hope will be a really, really important tool in the future. Make sure you watch this video on the left and don't forget to like and subscribe, as we hope to take you on more amazing journeys in the AI and tech industry.